So I'm going to ask you the same thing. Uh, let's see, they're a game behind and uh, playing very well, so I think it's an extremely important game for us. Is it weird? When you, I know you guys have got this Thursday, Saturday going. Now you're home Thursday, not playing again until Monday, and it's on the road. Does that disrupt kind of the rhythm you guys have established this first month here at Conference Play? Well, it's definitely different. I think every team ha is going to go through at least once, if not twice. Uh, so this is the week that's uh, probably a little less taxing, and then the following week is when uh, the teams have a lot of games back to back. You know, Idaho State was finishing theirs when they came here and played. These uh, next four games you have to have are against teams that are at the top of the offensive. Uh, statistics in the conference. What do you guys do to strengthen the defense and fix the problems that you guys had on Saturday? Yeah, I just think you just need to uh, stay on top of the habits you're trying to preach and get down and, and to do well. Um, Idaho State was a very different type of offense than most of the teams that we've been facing with their motions. So uh, I just think our, our urgency was really inconsistent that game, and, and uh, Idaho State did a great job of exploiting that. Uh, at the same time, we had some really good defensive possession, so if we can get more of those in our play and uh, really concentrate on that level of assertive, assertiveness, I think we, we have a lot of possibilities to be really great on that end of the floor. I actually said something about uh, screen action was giving you guys problems. Can you go a little bit more in depth of that? What, what was well, their motion that? offense uh, it's, has a lot of different screen action that you, you, you'll see a flare screen, a ball screen, maybe a back screen. Uh, uh, down screen, so the screen action uh, does a great job of keeping you occupied on that. Uh, we also struggled keeping eyes on the ball away from the screen action, so if there was penetration, to be able to attack that penetration. You know, the better your one-on-one -on -one ability is to keep somebody in front, obviously helps with that, but just the urgency on getting through those screens and being the plays with your hands up. There were a few possessions that Idaho State took advantage of. Um, but at the same time, you know, even watching back the film, uh, despite that in the beginning of the game, there, there was a point, I think about the seven and a half uh, mark where we're, it's a two, two point game. And I just f felt like uh, uh, that wear and tear uh, really affected us offensively with our composure. You know, we, we came down and would take a quick shot on the first side, make them defend us for five seconds, and then we're defending for about 25 seconds. So uh, we, we definitely need to control that better on our end. Trish, how do you rebound from a loss like that after six straight wins? How does the team come back? Uh, same way we responded after our Sac State opening uh, up with conference. Uh, you know, you addressed, uh, addressed the long season of play after the Sac State loss. Uh, it was how we opened up conference play. I wrote up uh, 19 uh, on the board. They thought that's how many offensive rebounds or turnovers we had, <laughs> and that was how many more conference games that we have left. There's so much season to be played. And you have to give credit to the opponents that play very well. And uh, we were playing extremely well, very consistent up into that stretch. And Idaho State uh, really came back and made plays when we made our runs. You know, we've traditionally been that team that has uh, some dry spells, uh, but uh, we've also gotten over that hump and made some pretty decent, uh, explosive offensive plays. Well, Idaho State was able to counter that. With just a couple of games left in the first half of the season, how would you assess your team's play? Well, I think we're, we're consistently moving in the right direction, and I think, you know, Saturday was a little bit of a hiccup for sure. Uh, there, there was some inconsistencies in our composure on the offensive end where we've been really fluid as far as our shot selection, our patience when we don't have something aggressive initially. Uh, charting that back, we were really, really high on going away from that. So we'll focus on getting those habits back in play, which our team's really good about responding to um, defensively. Uh, we still have some work to do. We know that's not our biggest strength at this point. Uh, I think a game like that really highlights uh, the motivation going into this week. Are there any positives you can take away, take away from Saturday's game, Coach? Uh, well, I think the positive is that uh, you know we're in this game uh, in different situations with Idaho State uh, shooting the ball extremely well. So you clean up some defensive factors and you get a little bit more patience on the offensive end. Um, we're moving in a great direction, and we're still right in the right where we want to be in conference. You know, if you were going to look at the standings and ask, well, what other seat would you rather be in? I think we're in a really good place. How, how even is uh, you, you always mentioned that it's a matter of how well your team plays, and sometimes they can lose if they don't play well. So, how even is the talent level in this conference? Well, it's extremely even. If you look at uh, the standings, I, I mean, everybody is right there in the thick of it. Uh, you know, I, I don't think there are, has been any surprises. You know, Weaver State was even that team that 
uh, came in to, came in and uh, gave us a competitive game. Had Montana, Tana, they were down one at halftime. So um, even the, the teams that are on the lower side have the uh, ability um, to have those kinds of upsets. So the parity's been really challenging. We guess Weaver, you guys seem to run them out of the gym. I mean, they had four different girls come in the score table so asking for a sub. Then I don't say, like you say, kind of the last eight minutes, they kind of wore you guys down. Was that just a specific game thing, or do you worry about this team hitting the wall physically? I think the wear down in that game particularly was, number one, it was extremely physical. Um, I think the physicality um, really uh, wore us out throughout the, the game, and I think the fact that we played defense um, way more uh, than they did, I thought that wore us out. And traditionally, we've been a team that uh, has been making teams guard us, and we really didn't make them guard us for much of that game. You only have nine players. Is that a good thing that, that everybody gets a chance to play? Well, I think with nine players, uh, kit, uh, your, your players come in, they feel a lot more confident getting into a rhythm. You know, when, when you have an opportunity to really contribute and be in that rotation, uh, you start bringing more to the table. Uh, I thought Saturday we, we really uh, struggled to bring those things uh, consistently from our positions, which we've been doing very well. So we need to get back to that consistency from everybody. Is everybody contributing? Uh, I think we, we've struggled at times, but um, with the run that we've been making, absolutely. Yeah, I, I'd say every single nine, nine on our team can bring a lot to the table, and you have to respect them for that. You've got to uh, play to those strengths, and uh, those are the things that we ask to, to bring to the table every game. When you have just the nine players, we talked about it a little bit on Saturday, but when you get into foul trouble, how big of an issue is that? Well, this foul trouble is something we, we for sure need to clean up. You know, it constantly has uh, been hampering us, and it does affect rotations. You know, when you have um, certain players, I even felt uh, against Weber State, you had uh, some, some players playing some really big minutes because other kids were in foul trouble, and that can wear on you in that second half. So um, just the, the discipline aspect, we need to stay with that, or composure, we need to stay with that. Those are things that uh, we, we highlight as strengths for us, and uh, when we don't bring them to the table, then we don't have that kind of success. Is there a way to... I, I don't know why I'm Is there a way to reel Asha in at all? I mean, she's such an aggressive player. I feel like she, with the way the rules have changed, she might always be in foul trouble. Well, she hasn't always been in foul trouble. I think uh, uh, sometimes she gets really aggressive, and, uh, uh, and a lot of that's sometimes in response to uh, how the game's being called, and she just needs to maintain doing what we do um, without, without a reach and without contact because she is so strong. I think it's more noticeable if there's a little bit of a bump from her than somebody else that's not. Um, with her kind of strength. Thanks, Coach.